welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome today i am going to share my short-lived work planner that i have set up for 2021 um and i'm going to just share my thought process in changing so what you see here to my left is the moterm let me pull this out the moterm uh blue gray crock that i was going to use in a personal size for my work planner. I have used this in the, you know, throughout this year until recently. I stopped using this in October because I wanted to use up my Hobonichi weeks um, that I had just on my shelf and I just thought a change would be good. And I also wanted to use a Tomoe River paper. So I left this on the shelf thinking I was gonna use it for 2021. And if you saw my previous video, if not, please catch that below. Um, I did not like the way the overhang, if you're just looking at it right now, these are the uh, recollection inserts and those are normally four inches wide and I can change the Motrum rings because these are 30 millimeter. I can change it back to the original rings, which was just a little bit smaller, but because of this overhang and that in the paper, they're great inserts, but just for the paper, and if I'm going to be using this all year long, I kind of already know what I like and don't like. Now, I do like the Filofax paper, but I did not want to purchase the inserts for this year. The only reason I used them for last year was, or for this year, was because I had some inserts from uh, a Malden that I received for Christmas. I'm the type, instead of letting something go to waste, I will use it or repurpose it, you know, for my work planner. So in light of that, I am out of this and I am now in this. This is a Recollections personal size planner. It's inexpensive and it's silver. This is one of the reasons I like it and I love the width. It's almost kind of like the Franklin Covey size, compact size. And that's one of the reasons I like the Franklin Covey covers is because of the width. And I think I'm kind of used to that. And if I'm going to use wider inserts, these are the type of planners, either the Recollections or the Franklin Covey. Those are the type of covers that I prefer to use. So I chose this, I think it's a gunmetal uh, gray. I don't know if you can tell by the lighting um, and it's silver. So silver, you know, metal right there and also silver rings. And that matters to me because I love silver and I prefer silver. Now it's kind of it's still new, so I need to stretch it out. And I think I have too many inserts in there. If you notice the rings kind of split there. So, but other than that, if I don't pull it, the rings are good. So I will work with this planner and get that stretched out. I'll move that to the side. So what I did is I kept the same cover. Let me get you in frame. And I just cut, um, you know, just copy paper and I just inserted it here. So how I'm gonna use this planner is I'm also gonna use this along with the rings. So I am going to use this B6 Slim Tomoe River notebook that I had. I've had this literally for years and I've never really found a purpose for it. I think I journaled it in a, in a page or two, but I already have other journals. So I did not want to use it for that purpose because the grid size is larger than I like for journaling. I decided to use this as my work planner. I thought I was going to use it as a list notebook or journal to have it along with my bullet journal, but I like having my list in rings. So I never used it for that it's because I already had this and I already wanted to use a Tomoe River paper for for the year because I have been using the Hobonichi weeks and I do love the Tomoe River paper. I thought why not have the planner in this journal, the just the planning portion, which is pretty thin, 
and then have all my meeting notes in here because I can take papers in and out and then sort them according to where they belong. And I love the color and I, it's thin enough. I can just put it in there and it snaps shut. So let me just give you a quick, I'll put move this to the side. So I just give you a quick flip through of this journal. So this notebook, I just kept very simple. Um, I used Happy Planner stickers and I just put do something good today. Because it's cardstock, it's a little flimsy because I've had it for so long that it's coming apart from the staple. So I just had to put some, a little bit of tape there to just kind of keep it together. And that's okay. And then I just put a little bit there, do all things with love. And I've just put coffee. I don't know, coffee theme was calling uh, my name <laughs> when I was decorating. Again, I'm very functional planner, but I just wanted to add a little bit, just color to the book. And so I added this, these are all happy planner stickers and work planner 2021 keeps it simple. And I just have how many grids going up and across in the page so I can keep track. And I just added some washi because I had cut some pages, journaling pages that I had, and it just didn't look very, very nice. So I just covered it up with washi. So here is, I'll get you in frame, I apologize. I'll bring you down a little bit. So here's January, and the exact same setup as I had before. And I like this extra space so I can write extra notes, especially you have to keep track of my training in my meetings so I'm working from home and if I start working back in the office one day I just keep all that information in here for our quarterly reports and then I have quarter information up there like the quarter in because I need that and that's it pretty simple and I have all my paydays stamped and it's October I'm sorry January through December and I like to use um, mild liners. I love color, even in my work planner. And then start my weeks. Because I did enjoy the Hobonichi week setup, I mimicked in my um, setup. So I have weeks one through 52. And I'm gonna, I won't go through all the weeks, but I'll just give you a quick flip. And they all look the same. And I was able to have enough pages for that. And then I have exactly one, two, three, four. And then in the very back, I have post-its. And I don't need a lot of extra sheets here. I just need my password information, which I will copy over from my current planner. And I put a Target dollar spot pocket. And I created all my uh, little trackers that I need for each month of the year for my job. That's something that I created for myself to keep track of my, my work and then extra post-its if I do need so. So that is it. And I love, I, I love working with the Tomoe River paper and it's a thin notebook, it's something I already had in my stash. And so how this will work it was just going here and the color scheme is all the same and that that's how it looks another thing about the cover is for my job because I work mainly from home now this works because when I'm in the meeting this is all I need and I can easily you know use this and it's light and it's portable and I can have it on my desk. A couple of other covers that I have that I plan to use if I get bored with the silver, I have the burgundy and I also have the black and I have a lot of other colors um, <laughs> in the recollections, but I thought that these two or these three rather work best for my job. I just kind of like to keep it you know, main colors like silver and black, burgundy, those type of, those are my go-to colors for work. 
and then that. So that is it. Let me pull these out of the way. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Please like this video and subscribe so you can get notifications of all my future videos. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time.